Welcome to Speaking English Fluently. Let's get started with today's story. Hello there. I'm Linda. Today is a special day because I have some wonderful friends coming over for dinner. I thought it would be great to bring you along to one of my favorite places, the local market, where I'll be picking up everything I need to prepare a delicious meal. Vegetable soup, a fresh salad, some fish, and of course, apple pie for dessert. Let's get started. Hi, Tom. How are you today? Linda, good to see you. I'm doing well, thanks. What brings you here today? I'm hosting dinner tonight and need some fresh veggies. What's looking good today? Well, for your salad. These lettuces here just came in this morning. Very crisp and fresh. They look perfect. I'll also need some carrots, onions, and potatoes for my vegetable soup. Thanks, Tom. I always love your suggestions. They make my dishes so much better. Now, let's head over to the fruit stand. I need some apples for my pie. Hi, Joe. I'm thinking of making apple pie tonight. Which apples would you recommend? Good choice, Linda. For pie, I'd suggest these Granny Smiths right here. They hold up well when baked and have just the right amount of tartness. These smell wonderful. I'll take a few pounds, please. Thank you, Joe. Can't wait to put these to use. All right, time to check out the fish stand for the main course. Hello, Mary. What's fresh today? Hi, Linda. If you're thinking about fish, I'd recommend the salmon or trout today. Caught this morning. Oh, the trout sounds lovely. I'll take enough for four, please. Thank you, Mary. Your fish is always the star of any meal. Now, I believe we've got everything we need for a splendid dinner. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for joining me at the market. I've got everything I need, and now I'm ready to welcome my guests. I hope you enjoyed this little trip as much as I did. Remember, there's nothing like fresh ingredients to make a meal truly special. Thanks for coming along, and see you next time. Before we dive into our speaking practice, let's enrich our vocabulary with 10 new words and expressions from our story. Ready to expand your English horizon? Come over, inviting someone to visit or join you at a specific location. Example. Why don't you come over to my place for dinner tonight? Delicious. Food that tastes very good or is enjoyable to eat. Example. The homemade cookies were so delicious that I couldn't stop eating them. Pick up. To collect or acquire something from a place. Example. I'll pick up some groceries on my way home from work. Host. To entertain guests, typically at one's home. Example. We decided to host a small gathering for our close friends. Crisp. Firm and fresh. Used here to describe fresh vegetables. Example. He enjoyed the crisp air of the autumn morning. Head over to go to a specific location. Example, after work, we should head over to the new cafe downtown to try their desserts. Tartness. The quality of having a sharp taste, usually relating to something slightly sour or acidic. Example, the tartness of the green apple made her pucker her lips. Check out. To investigate or inspect something, often to confirm its quality or functionality. Example. Let's check out that new sushi restaurant everyone's been talking about. Trout. Freshwater fish. Often recognized by their sleek bodies and speckled patterns. Example. He grilled the trout with some herbs and lemon which turned out to be a delicious meal. Ingredient. A part of a recipe or formula. Example. Sugar is an ingredient in making cake. Wonderful. Now let's shift gears to speaking practice. I'll lead and you follow. Repeat after me and let's perfect those pronunciations together. Hello there. I'm Linda. Hello there. I'm Linda. Today is a special day because I have some wonderful friends coming over for dinner. 
Today is a special day because I have some wonderful friends coming over for dinner. I thought it would be great to bring you along to one of my favorite places, the local market. I thought it would be great to bring you along to one of my favorite places, the local market. Where I'll be picking up everything I need to prepare a delicious meal, vegetable soup, a fresh salad, some fish, and of course, apple pie for dessert. Where I'll be picking up everything I need to prepare a delicious meal, vegetable soup, a fresh salad, some fish, and of course, apple pie for dessert. Let's get started. Let's get started. Hi Tom, how are you today? Hi Tom, how are you today? Linda, good to see you. Linda, good to see you. I'm doing well, thanks. I'm doing well, thanks. What brings you here today? What brings you here today? I'm hosting dinner tonight and need some fresh veggies. I'm hosting dinner tonight and need some fresh veggies. What's looking good today? What's looking good today? Well, for your salad, these lettuces here just came in this morning. Well, for your salad, these lettuces here just came in this morning. Very crisp and fresh. Very crisp and fresh. They look perfect. They look perfect. I'll also need some carrots, onions, and potatoes for my vegetable soup. I'll also need some carrots, onions, and potatoes for my vegetable soup. Thanks, Tom. I always love your suggestions. Thanks, Tom. I always love your suggestions. They make my dishes so much better. They make my dishes so much better. Now, let's head over to the fruit stand. I need some apples for my pie. Now, let's head over to the fruit stand. I need some apples for my pie. Hi, Joe. I'm thinking of making apple pie tonight. Hi, Joe. I'm thinking of making apple pie tonight. Which apples would you recommend? Which apples would you recommend? Good choice, Linda. Good choice, Linda. For pie, I'd suggest these Granny Smiths right here. For pie, I'd suggest these Granny Smiths right here. They hold up well when baked and have just the right amount of tartness. They hold up well when baked and have just the right amount of tartness. These smell wonderful. I'll take a few pounds, please. These smell wonderful. I'll take a few pounds, please. Thank you, Joe. Can't wait to put these to use. Thank you, Joe. Can't wait to put these to use. All right, time to check out the fish stand for the main course. All right, time to check out the fish stand for the main course. Hello, Mary. What's fresh today? Hello, Mary. What's fresh today? Hi, Linda. If you're thinking about fish, I'd recommend the salmon or trout today. Hi, Linda. If you're thinking about fish, I'd recommend the salmon or trout today. Caught this morning. Caught this morning. Oh, the trout sounds lovely. I'll take enough for four, please. Oh, the trout sounds lovely. I'll take enough for four, please. Thank you, Mary. Your fish is always the star of any meal. Thank you, Mary. Your fish is always the star of any meal. Now, 
I believe we've got everything we need for a splendid dinner. Now, I believe we've got everything we need for a splendid dinner. Well, that's all for today. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for joining me at the market. Thank you for joining me at the market. I've got everything I need, and now I'm ready to welcome my guests. I've got everything I need, and now I'm ready to welcome my guests. I hope you enjoyed this little trip as much as I did. I hope you enjoyed this little trip as much as I did. Remember, there's nothing like fresh ingredients to make a meal truly special. Remember, there's nothing like fresh ingredients to make a meal truly special. Thanks for coming along and see you next time. Thanks for coming along and see you next time. And that's the wrap for today's story. But before you go, let's make sure the learning doesn't stop here. If you enjoyed our journey today and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And if you want to make sure you don't miss our next story, hit that subscribe button. Remember, the best way to master English is to practice regularly. So feel free to watch this video again, and maybe even share it with friends who are also looking to improve their English skills. We love hearing from you. Drop us a comment below with your thoughts, feedback, or even ideas for our next stories. Together, we're building a community of enthusiastic learners, so let's keep the conversation going and make learning English a fun and collective journey. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next story. Keep practicing and stay fluent.